Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Just a quick thought for the week before the bliss of Shabbos descends upon us. I hope you've had a good week and I really wish you well for the week ahead. One of the features of the time that we're living in is uncertainty and vulnerability. It's uncomfortable for the human state to feel uncertain and to be vulnerable. Indeed, so uncomfortable that we come out with bold statements that we know what's going to happen next, or people come out with wacky conspiracy theories that 5G towers are infecting us with this virus and so on, because we'd prefer to have that extreme or weird idea rather than to acknowledge that the human state is fragile and fickle and vulnerable. In the course of this week, I studied a Talmud that made reference to the song of the pandemic. And I looked uh, in Psalms and found it as Psalm 91. Yoshev Beseser, we dwell, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High abides in the shadow of the Almighty. And it makes a reference to our vulnerable state, our confused state, darkness, pestilence, an arrow that flies past us. All of these things create a certain um, degree of, of, of chaos, of concern, of vulnerability, of uncertainty. Um, and yet, because we are in the refuge of our Creator, because we are connected to Hashem, because we know, as the words of the psalmist say, Imo Anochi Batsara, this is a God who resides with us during our times of distress and trouble and anguish. We know that there is certainty amongst the uncertainty. We know that there is ultimately firm footing to be had during this time of fragility. And so if you're feeling a little bit jittery, a little bit skittish, which you're certainly entitled to feel at this time, perhaps reciting Psalm 91 might be of some solace and comfort to you. The Psalm of the Pandemic. It sounds foreboding, but it's actually an empowering and beautiful psalm. And I urge you to have a look at it. I'll try and put a link down below the video on, um, in, the, in the title of this video. And I wish you firmness. I wish you certainty. I wish you good health. And for you, for your family, and for all of us. Shabbat shalom and God bless.